Hi guys, good morning. In this video, we're going to see the next graph traverse algorithm, which is DFS, depth first search. As the word itself says, as we saw in the breadth first search also, how the wording itself says was what the graph traversal would look like. We have to search firstly in the entire depth. Which means that if we are given a graph like this and when we say we are given a graph, we say that we are given the adjacency list of the graph. And if not, if let's say the edges are given, let's say it says, okay, we have an edge between two and three. So we indirectly have to make an adjacency list before traversing, before starting to traverse any graph. Right. Cool. Now we have to see how this the depth thing will actually happen first which means if i start from the, the node one because in bfs also we saw that we need to start from one node any node we want we can start with but we have to take a node let's say i start from the node one now in bfs what happened was was it went to two and four here in DFS, what will happen is it will go in the entire depth, which means it will go from 1 to 2 to 3. Then when it is done, it will just come back. Now, as you will see, oh, Aryan, 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 wait a second. It, it, if it will just come back entirely up, then what about the entire other graph? It's left, right? So I'll just say, okay, when it's coming up, then we'll see, okay, still the half depth of 2 is not covered, right? So it will just try to go in the depth of this 2. The 3 is covered, but the 6 is not covered, right? That is the reason it will just come and go to 6. Now you will see the entire of this whole depth is covered. It will just come back now. Now you will see, okay. Are, uh, now I can see that 4 part is not covered cool no worries it will just go and cover this entire depth now as it lands on four it has two options to go eight and five it can go anywhere but anywhere it goes it has to cover the entire depth which means it will just try to go 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 eight six seven five but when it just tries to come back to four because it's a path right it can come back to four but it will say okay four was already visited see what happened as i said I'm not visiting again because it was already visited. So it will just stop here only, which means it will come here, 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 and it will stop here. It, it can't go at four because four, from four itself, it was coming up. So four, it can't go to because four is already visited. Now you see what happened. What happened ultimately was you started from a node. You just did a whole DFS in the left part, or I should say in the one part, and you did the whole DFS in the right part or the other part. And that is the same thing which we have to do in the DFS, which means I, I think I know one, one thing for sure that if I start from this node, I have to do a DFS from all its childs or I should say all its neighbors. If I take anything as the root, then everything become as the child every neighbor become as the child. So I just know one thing, okay. I have to do a TFS from two and from four. But when it will entirely be done, only then I can start with a TFS of four. As the recursion, how the recursion works? Recursion works that, okay, I just need to tell the small part of the problem and rest part of the problem will be done by the recursion itself. For this DFS of one, what my main task was, uh, DFS, let's say it just goes to the entire depth, visit everything. So I just need to make sure, okay, if I just want to do a DFS of one or any node, I just have to do a DFS of their child's in that order, which means it will just do the entire visiting of its child, which means, okay, it will just go to three, it will go to six, it will just go to entire of this child, which means four, eight, seven, and five. That's how the 
तो ये फेस विल वर्क इट्स वेरी इजी वेरी शॉर्ट वेरी कंसाइज आई जस्ट हैव दिस फंक्शन विच विल एक्चुअली कॉल द DFS of that graph. I will give the starting node because ultimately I just need to tell. Okay, what is the starting node like? Visit it to make sure that I visit every node once. Else, what will happen is it will just go on in the entire loop and it can go to infinite loop. So I have to make sure. Okay, if four is visited, please, 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 please stop right there. <laughs> Then, firstly, as soon as I enter a node, I have to visit it. Mark it as visited because. I am entering that node, right? So I have to mark it as visited. Cool. Here I am just printing out the source, how it will look like. Now, as I told you, for the node right here, my sub task was that I need to go to two and four, which means all its child, which will actually do the same DFS itself. It's just that okay, I have to do that for those childs. I go on to the child of that graph. If they are not visited, mark my words because childs are these. Okay, two, four, and you can see four child is nothing but eight and five. But while doing its TFS traversal, five was already visited. So four, it cannot again do a TFS of five because it is already he visited. So I should need to make sure. Okay, if I am trying to start a TFS. It should not be visited. If it is not, then I again do a child DFS. It is just how the code, very small, very concise. Exactly same code is in Java itself, but it's exactly very small, very concise code you can write for DFS. Now let's dry run how this algorithm actually works. As I already told you, we start from one node. We try to entirely visit them into its depth. Let's see how. So basically, as we said, okay, our source node we assumed it as. Let's start it as from one. Then I had, as I said, I had two options. Either I can go entirely in the depth of two, or I can go at four. I I have to do both. So let's start with I go at the entire depth of two. Now, as we know, if we have to go, then okay. From one, I just went to two. Then at two also, I have two options. I have, I can go in the left child. See, a graph can have many childs, but I just place here two, so no worries ab about that. Then it can go to the left child or the right child. It is assumed. Okay, let's go to the left first. But 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 make sure it has to go to the right also. Cool, cool. Then it goes to three. You saw what happened. From one, it go to three. Then go to, th then it go to two. Then it go to three. Which means it went to the entire whole depth. Now, when it's coming back to two, you saw one thing. My six was also remaining to get traversed. Now, my six will get traversed. Now you will see the entire whole depth of one is covered on the left part. Now, you saw what happened when we started one. It said you have to cover two. You have to also cover four. Now, the two part is done. Four part is still remaining. It will just go into entire depth of four. Also, you know, every time I am reaching onto a node, I am marking it as visited because it is actually visited, and I don't want to visit that node again. Cool. Then I landed on four because you saw from one I had two options: one, uh, two, and four. Two is entirely done, entirely visited. Four is still left. Four I will do now. Four I have again two options: eight and five. I have to do do both, but let's start with one. Let's start with eight itself. Then from four I'll go to eight, which means okay, cool. From eight, eight has two options: four and seven. Four is already visited, so I can't visit it again. So it can't be visited. But seven is not, so I will just do a TFS of seven, and also make sure that eight is visited because eight you have visited now. Cool. Then you land on to seven. Then again you have. Two options: TFS of eight and of five. Eight is already already visited, so you can't do that. Five, you can do. Then you will just go to five. You land on five. You mark it as visited. Okay, it is visited. Then you have again two options: four and seven. But 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 both four and seven are already visited, so you can't go. You will just stay here. So you saw what happened. It came from one to four to eight to seven to five. It is how the traversal looked like. Now, 
फोर इफ यू गो एंड लुक बैक फोर हैड टू ऑप्शन एट एंड फाइव एट वी डिड इंटायरली बट फाइव वॉज स्टिल रिमेनिंग इट विल ट्राई टू डू फाइव बट इट इज ऑलरेडी विजिटेड सो इट विल नॉट डू दैट फाइव ट्रेवर्सल एनी मोर दस neither it can go nor it has one remaining of 5 also because its 5 is one neighbor well child but still it can't do that because it's already visited thus i can't visit that again it is how the traversal will look like which means from 1 you go to 2 you go to 3 you go to 6 then you go to 4 you go to 8 you go to 7 you go to 5 but if you say okay are will the traversal every time look like this i'll say no why it's because it can also also happen that see my uh, sorry yeah my graph had just two options it can visit the left or the right it can also visit okay it can just go to one then it can go to four also first time because it just has okay i just have to visit my childs i'm not saying the order of the childs when i'm iterating i'm saying okay the childs whatsoever in the order in the graph but it can visit in any order which means it can go from 1 to 4 then 5 7 8 after that that when it's it's done then then left part let's say 2 6 and then 3 it can also happen like this so it is just that okay my only condition is to cover the entire depth and not i'm concerned about the order of that depth it's just that okay the whole depth is covered the whole depth is covered i am got to go and that is pretty much it in this whole pfs you just have this very small code where you make sure that you visit that node because you don't have to visit that again and also go on to or child and call for the same function because it's just a recursion because in recursion you also only have to make sure okay um what is my base condition base condition is okay if it is visited it will never visit that again and also what's the recursive condition because the condition okay If I'm starting a node, I have to go and call the same condition for my whole childs, and it will just complete that work. I don't have to worry about that. It is how recursion is so smart and beautiful. That is all, uh, and also as we saw in the last video, the code for C++ and Java is there, and also in the last video we saw if we had this main function, we earlier called the PFS of that graph. Here we are just calling. a uh, bfs instead of a uh, bfs and you can easily see that you can just write whatever code you saw above you can just write that above function it will just call that dfs and it can just print the whole root it has super super cool functionalities super cool um applications you will see in the next upcoming videos next video and the upcoming ones i'll show you how how easily this efs can solve your tp on trees on gra graphs problem and not only this but also if you want to find the components see why why i am just stressing out so much on this is you can see the code it's so small you saw the code of a bfs it was so big right in comparison to it it was thrice the size and it's just and it's also because of i just printed a line if i if i don't print it then it's just 1 2 3 4 4 four lines of code that's it you saw how strengthful is a tfs how fast you can write this in an interview that's the reason the applications are insane in the upcoming videos you will see how how cute this why i am saying cute but yeah how cute this depth first search is i hope that you guys liked it and very eager and curious to know about the upcoming applications of dfs and graph in general because this bfs and this efs will be the entirely backbone of your entire graph algorithms so yeah that's pretty much it from me and i hope that you guys liked it if yes then do the like button and be safe see you in the next video then goodbye take care